Um, when I was at Bradley, I was really, uh, I honestly got involved with a variety of different things. Uh, I think that's typically what freshmen, or especially my freshman year, they like to dabble in a little bit of quite a few different things and see kind of what sticks. Um, so in my experience at Bradley, I was a fellow, I was um, a star, I um, was also involved with fish uh, philosophy, which uh, is defunct now here on campus, and um, I was also um, really heavily involved in what I focused most of my time on being an RA and eventually a hall director my senior year, and then the Activities Council of Bradley University as well. For me, the most impacting and the most rewarding part of my job is being able to work with the students and seeing how much they grow, whether it's over the span of one year, whether it's a span of four years that I've had that I've been able to work with them, and seeing how much their leadership skill skill set has developed, um, whether they've gone from being completely disorganized to having a colored planner and developing, you know, seeing seeing the growth and how they develop those skills, and even helping them through tough situations like confronting somebody and helping them through the. The, and building those skill sets so that when they graduate and move beyond Bradley that they're able to um, be successful in their first positions personally and professionally. Okay. Man, balancing, that, that is truly a balancing act. Um, I think what really helps is scheduling, for me, what has been really effective is scheduling regular meetings um, with those different constituents. So that way I know at least for that hour to two hours that I'm meeting with the exec board of that organization um, that we're talking about um, ways to improve that organization and um, talk about things that need to get done in preparation for the upcoming events or activities that that organization is doing. So I would say um, that regularly scheduling in that time as well as um, when you're in the field of student activities, you kind of get used to the idea and the practice of being in multiple places at one time, both physically and mentally. So although I'm sitting in an ACBU meeting, I might be thinking about, you know, we're talking about something that relates to SABRC, I'll, I'll think about it and then jot it down and make sure that I pass that along next time I see them. Okay. Um, overall. I would I would simply cite my experience with working with, uh, with, with, working with different students um, through the years here and, and explain to them that, you know, it might not seem, you might not be interested in going to event planning, and that's completely fair. A lot of the, people, a lot of the students who uh, get involved with ACBU don't end up being professional event planners. They have other interests that relate to um, the programming board's general mission. And in fact, um, by getting involved with um, the programming board that has such exposure to exposure to a variety of different entertainment mediums, um, you might find a you might find a new major. Like you might change your major and you might find a new career path for yourself because that's how, somebody went from an education major to a marketing major um, because of her experience here um, with ACBU. So I would just say that. Um, it, it, that you never know what's going to happen, and you don't know until you, you don't know what will happen until you put yourself out there. Also, I would say, don't discount your experience or your knowledge or your skills or abilities when it comes to getting involved on campus. Everybody has great contributions um, and great background and insight to provide to an organization.